So this goes for Marin County, and this also goes for any county in the San Francisco Bay Area. But, for example, you're in Marin County driving down to 101, and you're going way too fast. Um, the speed limit is either 55 or 65. It's 65 once you get up near the Courthouse the Civic Center heading north. Um, south of there, it's 55 all the way till you get almost to the Golden Gate Bridge. If you're going 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, uh, there's a high speed enhancement, and you've got to watch out for this one, and this is a reason why this happens. You really want to make sure you've got a good lawyer, um, a good DUI lawyer in Marin County, because the penalty, if you get convicted of a DUI and that speed enhancement is not dismissed, you can get an extra 60 days in jail for that speed enhancement. Um, so that's one to really watch out for. We've luckily been able to make that enhancement go away in almost every case, and I've never had a client who's had to do actually an extra 60 days in jail uh, because of it. But it is something to, to know, and a lot of people drive very fast, especially these days people are driving like crazy so because there's a lot less cars on the road. Um, other, other enhancements are for having a high blood alcohol level. So let me put some of these up uh, on the board and got my pen. So we're going to call it high speed, which was the first one. The next one is, uh, as I said, uh, blood alcohol level. A high, we call it a high BA. So what that would be is either if you're over a 0.15 or a 0 0.20. Okay, what those mean, over a 0.15, they can enhance the penalty. Typically in Marin County, and in a lot of other cases, they, they will not require you to, to plead to the 0.15, um, but the 0 0.20 is the big one we need to worry about because what that is, um, they can give you a, a higher penalty, um, the offer is, is often um, a more difficult offer uh, penalty-wise, but the, the key here usually with the .20 is, is the DUI school. And if you get convicted of a .20 in court, then um, what you're often going to have to do is the nine-month school. So, nine-month school, if a 2-0. If you're under a 2-0, it's a three-month. Three-month school. Okay, big difference there. So, I had a case recently where someone was uh, at a 0 .20, but they were a 0 .18 on a preliminary test, and we got the DA to not go after them for the 0 .20 and turned it into more of a regular DUI, avoiding you know, the extra six months of school. Now, the difference between a nine-month school and a three-month school, three-month school is 32 hours. Nine-month school is basically twice the amount of time, not three times. Um, a lot of people don't understand that until they get to the DUI school. Um, other enhancements, say you have a minor in the car. There's two different types of enhancements there. One is for a minor. That's the bad one. The other one is because that's that the penalty is much greater for that. The other one is having someone 14 or younger in the car. That's typically they'll, they'll tack on a couple days of sheriff's work program for something like that. So anytime we get the minor in the car, we're trying to get that dismissed or change it to the 14 or under in the car. Accidents. In Marin County, when you get in an accident, say it's a single car accident, or even if you, you, know, you hit another car, as long as there's no injury, what they're usually going to do here. Minor was the next one. Accident. Okay. An accident, what that will do, if no one's hurt um, at all, and um, but your car hits something, no matter, I mean, I had this happen when a client years ago laid a motorcycle down because there was something wrong with the motorcycle, a mechanical failure, but because, you know, they had to respond to an accident, that's an automatic 10 days. When a regular DUI would be two days, two 
10 days versus two days. If you had a DUI without an accident, say your alcohol level was 0.14, something like that, um, something under a 0.20, they're usually going to give you two days in jail, which can be done on the sheriff's work program. Often you get credit for a day or two based on when you were um, arrested, if you were taken into jail and, and at what time you were booked in um, and then released. But if it's an accident, you're looking at 10 days. And so they have something called half time. So you do five days, maybe four or three, depending on how everything comes out. But that's a big deal for accidents. That will enhance it, and that's what they typically do in Marin County. Um, if you're driving on a suspended license under Vehicle Code Section uh, 14601, um, if it's suspended because of, or point .2, uh, because of a, uh, a prior DUI is why your license was suspended, even if you're not on probation um, and you never got your license properly reinstated or for whatever reason, that will give you much higher penalties, fines, jail, all sorts of things, um, and then points, too, for DMV, um, which make insurance go up. Um, so driving on a suspended is, is something that can enhance a case, and we see that sometimes. Um, prior convictions, I, I mentioned prior suspensions. Prior convictions, that's a biggie. Now, if you have, uh, if you're on probation for a first DUI, which is typically a three-year probation, and, and I have this happen sometimes, unfortunately, to some of my clients. You get another one after a year or two, and you're still on probation. The fact that you're on probation means that not only can they go after you for the penalties of a second DUI, which are much greater than for a first DUI, but they can also give you penalties because this happened while you were still on probation. If probation's over, and you get a second DUI within 10 years, which is a prior ability period, or, or a third DUI within 10 years, and this goes from the date of arrest of the first DUI to date of arrest of the second or third DUI. In those cases, um, you know, there, there are much greater penalties, you know, mandatory jail, things like that. Um, it's, it's very serious uh, in Marin County, and you really need to get uh, a, a very, very good DUI lawyer who focuses on DUI law to help you through the whole process and to make sure that um, if you are convicted, that the penalty you get is as small as possible. Um, and there's a lot of things that we can do to help, um, help get to that point, to walk you through it, and, and, and advice that we can give, things that you can do. And then we go over things that we do, um, a lot of procedures and things that we try, an investigation that we do to get the best results. But enhancements are serious and need to be taken that way. And if you're watching this video, um, it probably means that you got a DUI and you want to learn more about how things work in Marin County. Anyone's welcome to contact me anytime. Um, if I'm awake, I'm working. So feel free to shoot me a you know, go to my website, you can text me from there, you can email, call, whatever, I'm here for you. Thank you.